Welcome to TheMarketCapitalist.com. I am Dominica Johnston. Today we're going to talk about glue. No, not the sticky stuff, the stock. The stock is G-L-U-U, and the company, Glue, is a producer of mobile and online games. By mobile games, I mean smartphone games. And as you know, I'm kind of bullish on smartphones because everybody and their mother has one these days except myself, and you can't get them away from people. I wonder sometimes if people would go without food or their smartphone, which one would come first, or how long it would take for them to give up their smartphone if they were to do without food. Anyways, that's just commentary on the side. Glue. Glue is a company that's making games based um, for online play, particularly social networking. They just entered into a contract with Facebook to develop some games via Facebook. And on your smartphone, so your iPhone, your Droid, your Blackberry, whatever the um, device is, they make games for it. And they have a number of games that they develop themselves, and there's a number of um, what I would call legacy games that they license and put forth. Again, um, some of these games are free to play, and the, by free, they mean it's a limited capability on the game. So your access to, I don't know, level one, but you can't go further than that. So it's kind of, it's kind of a teaser. It's like, uh, let's get them hit, hooked. Oh, I really enjoy this game. Okay, I'll pay $3 to actually have the game on my phone. In any case, it's a area with a lot of growth potential because, as you know, the gaming industry is a huge industry. And right now, when you think of the gaming industry, you think of the set-top box industry. It's the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Nintendo Wii. These things have dominated the market for quite a long time, and people have come, become accustomed to those systems and the companies that license games via those systems. Well, a lot of the games that you find on your um, social media or your phone aren't exactly like those games. They're a little bit different. And what they're trying to do, Glue's trying to do, is open this up to a larger audience. So it's not really your gamers that they're going after. It's your you know, people with a smartphone that like to have a game on there so that if they get bored they can pass time playing whatever the game is. Or social networking, kind of the same idea there where you're playing the game and you're able to compete against your other friends, your social networking friends in this, you know, interactive and lively game. If you think about social networking, one of the things that really caught on, caught on is Farmville, which um, was a game in a sort of way, not the game that I think about, like playing uh, Mario Brothers or something, but was a game where you're competing against other people in terms of you're trying to um, raise the most money through the virtual farm that you have. And it was a huge success. I think it's tapered off lately, but when, um, I don't know, the span of a year or two that it was popular, people jumped all over that. And if you look at um, other social networking sites like Kpasa, who I've mentioned on this site or on the site before, one of the things that they're really pushing is getting into social gaming. Kpasa did a stock or um, issued some more shares of stock to raise capital. Specifically, one of the goals of that money was to go into the development of additional social gaming um, games to enhance the revenue of the site. So games attracting people, getting them on the site more, more visits, more page views, more loyalty, and therefore translating in greater advertising dollars. Or it's a, uh, a pay thing where they're paying every time they play the game or you know they're buying the game initially to pay in or to play in. In any case, Glue is well positioned in the market because they have a contract with NVIDIA, which is a video graphics company, and their chips or their software, their hardware, is in a lot of the phones that you're buying, and therefore a lot of the games that Glue is going to be producing are going to be preloaded into these um, smartphones that you've bought or you're going to buy. So therefore it kind of gives them a little bit of edge in the market. Glue recently has gone up significantly. Last week, at the beginning of last week, I think it was trading around for $2 and then now this week it's gone up to $3. So substantial increase there. I, I honestly would wait for it to pull back 
And this is, again, a stock that I'm considering buying. I wish I would have bought it too, but hey, hindsight's always 20-20. Um, they recently did a stock offering to raise capital, which put some pressure on the stock price. When they had the NVIDIA um, announcement press release, that shot them up to, I think it was around 3, I think it was over 3, I think it was around 3.30. Then they did the um, stock offering, which dropped the price down, dropped about to 2.30, came back down about 2, and now they've kind of jumped back up to 3. My guess is somebody will take a profit. Um, stock will probably come in around, I don't know, 2.50 to 2.60, probably, hopefully. Um, and then it will probably start creeping back up. They do have an earnings call. I think it's on the 7th of February. Don't quote me on that. Go and actually look for yourself. I might be confusing that with another company. In any case, I think the potential for this stock is huge because they're essentially a main player in one of the areas that's growing like crazy in smartphone technology and social networking. So it's two areas they're well positioned with. They've got in with Facebook and they've got in with a chip maker that is a very dominant player in um, video gaming and just um, smartphone technology to have the graphics capability at the par. Again, thank you for tuning in. The stock we talked about was GLUU, Glue. Um, I welcome you to leave comments below and thank you for tuning in. Thanks again.